Thanks, Patty. I'm back again today with our friend Joellen Meyer Sharp, who really is the Hoosier gardener. Yes. It's just spring. It's it just is spring. barely. So there are some things we should do and some things we should not do. I know. What are your best tips for the early spring? So don't give in to the temptation to go out and dig in the garden too early, because doing that sort of destroys the soil st structure, which we've all worked really hard to improve by, you know, composting and just making sure we take good care of the soil. Good soil healthy plants good plants you know right uh, the other thing is that you want to you know everyone wants to get out there with their pruners too mm -hmm. so you don't want to prune any spring blooming shrubs now because blooming them now would cut off the flowers yep, for the season that's right we want so the flowers. we don't want to do that either what are we doing today though when you're not out turning your soil you've got a little something a little project we could do early I know and that is to plant up a spring pot I mean to me it's one way to welcome the season to just kind to get all the juices, all those gardening juices going again, you know, and mm -hmm. it's just a breath of fresh air. And so depending on what we do, so, you know, I always go for fragrant plants, you know that about me. Sure. So we have alyssum, which is of course very fragrant, and pansies, which are very fragrant. Right. Also, there's a miniature rose, which has a little bit of fragrance to it. So, you know, and this is um, heath, uh, mm -hmm. you know, which is also uh, sort of an unusual plant for our climate. I think it is winter hardy, but it's not exactly crazy about our heavy clay soils. And these we think of as a really a house plant, uh, but they're really, yeah, they're really pretty cold tolerant. So um, you can plant them in uh, spring pots. They can go down to about mm, 30 degrees or so. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And cyclamen comes in a lot of really they do come in. A, it does come in a lot of different colors. Yep. This is really a high quality potting mix. I always opt for that. Mm -hmm. But one thing that's specially formulated to um, allow for good drainage it's also a little bit lightweight and um, it's just you know better it, we know that it's a sterile product and, and that we're not going to be contaminating any plants with bugs or anything like that so we put the tall pretties in the middle we're going to do that on that this one yep because it's a nice little round pot and so you you're going to yep we're going to put both of them in there okay great good job there and then um, I thought maybe we could do these on the quarter and then maybe fill in with the alyssum. Sure, so it's easy enough. It is, it's very easy. And a uh, little hint here, if you're working in a really tight space, you can take the ball of the soil there and just kind of make a wedge out of it oh, like that. And then I you can see. kind of crank it in there a little bit and better. And it fits around the edge of the bowl really it fits, nicely. Yes, it does. One of the ways to give it a really nice finished look is to put a little Spanish moss around the edge of the pot and then you know wherever you have any uh, you know soil exposed it's just nice to stick a little Spanish moss in there because it just kind of gives it a finished look I think and these are all readily available at garden centers all over the city if not today certainly in the next few days this is beautiful Joellen thank you so oh, thank much you, Shannon. it's thank always you great very to much. visit you with you in the spring well, I'm glad to do it wonderful I'm Shannon Cagle, the Weekend Gardener for Great Day TV.